fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, fought for law and order throughout the early western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might, and he brought hundreds of cattle rustlers, road agents, and killers to justice. It was he more than any other man who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Flat Rock! There's going to be trouble! Oh, Silver! Away! The train for Flat Rock was speeding through the rolling hill that lay to the west of town. Striving to make up lost time, the train raced on, scarcely slowing down for the dangerous curves that marked its course. It panted hoarsely up an ascending grade, then, reaching the top, rushed swiftly down the other side. Suddenly, where a trestle should have been, the horrified engineer discovered too late that it was gone. Frantically, he applied the brakes. The train slowed, but its momentum forced it on. The edge of the gorge was deep. For a second, the engine seemed to hesitate. Then it toppled over, crashing into the gorge below. moment, a band of hooded horsemen dashed from cover and with drawn guns raced toward the train. Get the train! It goes up ahead in that first car. Hold it, hold it, hold it. there. Raise those shoes and you man look for anything else worth taking. Shoot down anybody that tries to stop you. Get going. Right. Come on, fellas. Get the boy. Get him. Get him. The rest of you follow me. Let's go. Get low there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Everything? In 
a thing worth it taking left behind. Cleaned out the gold, went through the mails, and got everything the passengers carry. Everybody accounted for it. Yes, well, let's make tracks. Get up back. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Several hours later, a tall masked man sat astride a powerful white stallion on the crest of a hill above the wreck. Word of the accident and robbery had reached Flat Rock, the closest town, and now directed by the sheriff, every available man was working to clear the track of the wreckage and give first aid to the survivors. The masked man waited for less than an hour. Then an Indian mounted upon a paint rode toward him from below. What were you able to learn? Outlaw wreck train. I suspected as much. That trestle wasn't wrecked by itself. Huh. How much did they get? Robber feller take gold. Him get thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars. That's right. And the passengers, the crew, are they badly hurt? Were any killed? Engine man, him die. The killers. Three passengers, them die too. Four people killed. That might have been everyone on the train. Huh. Only one gang in this territory would care as little for human life as that, Tonto. Uh, Tonto, no. Red Jensen and his crew of cutthroats. Uh. Kimasabe, we're changing all our plans. We're letting everything else go. We get out, Law? If it takes us a year. Come, Tonto. Come on, old fellow. Get him up, Scout. Hi, Silver. Hooray! <laughs> In the mysterious way that news traveled through the West, word quickly spread that the famous masked rider of the plains had vowed to bring Red Jensen's gang to justice. The Lone Ranger's riding. He's after Red Jensen. He's going to send them killers to the rope. Uh, you hear the news, fellas? The masked man's out to get Red Jensen. Hey, he'll get him. Hey, he'll get him. <laughs> A week later, a horseman spurred his lathered mount along the floor of a distant canyon. His destination was a camp at the farther end, and when he reached it... Oh, oh, fella, oh, there, oh, oh, there. Red? Hey, Red, where are you? What's the matter, Brazos? Red, I just picked up bad news. Eh? You know who's out to get us? Uh, who? The Lone Ranger. How'd you hear that? Talked to a mule skinner, didn't know who it was. He said the news is all over the state. Fred, what are we going to do? I've heard plenty about that mass, Jen. I don't like this no name at all. He's shut up, you fool. But I Hold me, that... shut up. <laughs> Acting like a bunch of yellow coyotes. Scared out of your boots because Brazil says the Lone Ranger's after you. <laughs> yeah, a fine bunch of gun hands. So one of you'd have the nerve to say boo to a school mom. Yeah, can't say I'm particularly scared, Red, but there ain't no sense not taking this serious. That masked man's poison, all right. I know that for a fact. Well, we're warned, ain't we? Yeah, but... And we... what more do we want? If we can't stay away from the Lone Ranger when we know he's after us, we deserve to be caught. <laughs> all right, boys, break camp. We're riding on. All right, oh, we got to get a speed. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, Scalvin. Oh, fella. Oh, oh, fella. Fella, we've lost that trail again. Oh, that's right. They know we're after them, Kimasabi. They must know it. Ah. Uh. In six weeks, we've cut their trail a dozen times and lost it again each time. Ah. Uh. They're not going to all that trouble just to evade the law. They know the law would never follow them into these hills. Isn't that right? Well, there's nothing for it but to return to the place where we last saw that trail and try again. Oh, back? We have no choice. In a wilderness like this, they could have chosen any one of a hundred different routes. Uh... There's no time to waste. We've got them on the run. As long as we can stay close behind them, we'll keep them on the run. Wait. What matter? Those woods beyond that far ridge, Tonto. Isn't that smoke overhead? Ah. Uh... That smoke, all right. With the odds a thousand to one, it's made by the men we're after. Come on, Scott. Get him up, Scott. Come on, old fellow. Come on. What the? Hey, you. 
What do you think you're doing? Why, the fire needed some kindling, Red, so I... You look who is it? Hey, Red, what? You want us to get caught? After we just about break our necks to hide our trail, you want to send smoke signals to bring that masked hombre here? But I just didn't think, Red. And it's time you started. One more trick like that and I'll let you have it. Brazos, cover that fire with dirt. Right. And you can do something to make up for that fool trick. What, Red? Get on your horse and ride up the trail to the point. They've seen that smoke in her head and here. That's the way they'll come. You stand guard there. All right. And don't you leave the point till I send a man to take your place. I won't. <coughs> Get up, boy. <sighs> Thinks he's pretty good. Didn't have to hit me. Could have just told me about it. I never noticed. Bet that mass feller ain't anywhere as close no how. One of these days I'll show him. Come on, boy. Get it there, boy. Get it. Come on. Suppose Red will leave me there half the night just to get even. Well, I won't stand for it. That's what I... Rain up and uh, keep still. Or I'll blast you out of that saddle. What? The mass man. Raise your hands. And you won't be tempted to reach for those guns. Come, Tyler. Uh, Who don't shoot? What do they call you? Huh? What's your name? My name's Stranger. They call me Snake. I can believe it. Huh? Where were you going? Uh, Red told me to keep watch from the point. But we beat you to it, huh? Were you to be relieved, or did he tell you to report back to him? He didn't say. Know how long he planned to leave you there? I don't know. He just sent me out because he was mad. Maybe till morning, for all I know. Until morning, if he did. Tutter, how far would I have to ride to reach the law? Maybe five, six hours. Silver Gulch? Huh. It could be done. Snake? You want to live? <laughs> you ain't going to shoot me, are you? That depends upon you. You want to keep your health? You'll do exactly as I say. Not long afterwards, the masked man raced away on Silver, leaving Toto to guard Snake. Yep. <sighs> Come on, Silver. Hurry, old boy. Hurry. Tonto forced his prisoner to leave the trail in order to avoid discovery by the other outlaws. Night fell, the moon rose, and still all was quiet. But the following morning in the outlaw's camp, Red Jensen looked up at the sound of an approaching horse. Here comes Snake back, Red. Yeah, I see him. Who told you to come back here? Whoa, fella, whoa. But gosh, Red, I was on guard all night. So do you right. That was to teach you a lesson. But listen, Maybe next I... time you won't get so careless. Well, I didn't see no sign of anybody, Red. It was all right to leave, wasn't it? I mean, if they'd have seen that smoke and was going to show up, they'd have been here by now, wouldn't they? You never seen any sign of them at all? No, Red, nothing. You looked good before you left to come back? Uh-huh, honest I did. They didn't, uh, I mean, uh, I'll bet they ain't even close. Oh. Well, well, don't you think so, Red? Uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon. Then it's all right about my coming back? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Gosh, Red, thanks. I had to stay longer, only oh, I... Oh, forget it. You better get yourself some sleep. Yeah, yeah, I guess it better. I'll wake you if you're needed. Hey, uh, where are you going? Just to the spring for a drink of water. Be back in five minutes. Oh. While Snake made his report to his leader... Tonto was crouched in the underbrush and had the outlaw covered every moment. He saw Red leave the camp, but still his eyes were fixed upon Snake. Fifteen minutes went by. Then suddenly... Oh, oh, oh what, Joe? Oh, oh, skin, you're covered. I, I thought Snake was acting doggone funny when he come back. And you can't... Shut up, oh. will you? Had him covered, eh? Made him ride back to camp and say you fellas went around, is that it? Where's the mask man? Me not talk. Oh, you won't, eh? Well, I reckon you will. You will after I've taken you back to camp and turned you over to Brazos to start working in. <laughs> Go on, and get moving, March. Me not what? Engine, don't move. Me not move. That's what we call the mask man. He brought the sheriff here. That right. He was waiting to jump our camp. Ah. And if I hadn't suspicion of something, they'd have got me too. Law, I'll get you all right. Engine, one word, one sound out of you, and I'll send you to glory. You can't. They ain't do... seen us in here. And if you don't give it away, they won't. What you do? Engine, your mask part tricked us. I reckon my boys will go to jail, uh, but they won't stay there. <laughs> you know why? Uh, Tonto not know. The masked man's going to get him out. No, he not do that. Sure he will, Redskin. <laughs> to save your life.
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. The sheriff, whom the Lone Ranger had brought from Silver Gulch, directed his men in the fight against the rebellious army. Rope that big fella and throw him across your horse. Shorty, you will know what to do if there's any fight left in him. Get him to the saddle and get ready to travel. All right. sheriff and his men made short work of the outlaws, and as they completed their task of binding them securely to the saddles, the Lone Ranger approached. The sheriff turned to greet him and... Find your partner, mass man. Oh, oh, that's over. Oh, 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 oh. Sheriff, he's nowhere around. That's a funny thing. And Red Jensen's missing. Eh? What's that? Ain't that fellow there, Red Jensen? He isn't. Well, then what do you think? Somehow he escaped our trap. Well, but... And I've got an idea. If Red could be found, we'd learn what's happened to Tonto. Yeah. Red was a skunk we wanted to get the worst of all. Yes. Well, I'll be it. Stranger, this is tough luck. It is, Sheriff. And your partner. Well, friend, I sure hope nothing's happened to him. Now, tell you what. I'll give you three, even four of my men. You can start looking. No, Sheriff. But you ought to... You need all the men you have to get your prisoners safely to jail. Well, I ain't got any too much help, and that's a fact. Go on back to town. And you won't let me loan you just a couple? I'll find Tonto alone, Sheriff. I hope so. And if he's been harmed, well, Sheriff, maybe I'll save your county a hanging. Come on, Silver. Come on, boy. Come on. The last man tried desperately to pick up Tonto's trail. Come on, Silver, old boy. We can't give up. We've got to find Tonto. Come on, Silver, come on. As the afternoon faded into evening, he decided the search must wait until morning and turned Silver's head toward the valley in order to find a place to camp for the night. But just then, a horseman appeared on the trail ahead of him. What? Silver, that's Red Jensen. Come on, old fellow. Stay where you are. I'm Hurry, boy. Pull up there, mister. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. You, that scout you're riding... Uh huh. Then you know what's happened to Tonto. Talk, Red. Talk before I blast you out of that saddle. Hey, now. You Hold talk. on, fella. You ain't running this show, I am. Just get your hand away from that there colt you're reaching a draw. Drill me and you'll never find that redskin. Where is he? Where he won't get away till I let him. Red, if you don't. Major, just a second. If you know it's good for you, shut up and let me have my say. Then talk, and talk fast. Like I just told you, Tonto's where you'll stay less than I give the word. Is he hurt? <laughs> nothing hurt but his feelings. I've got him roped and hogtied. Go on. I'm riding scouts so you can't say I'm not telling you the truth. Can't hardly doubt I took him prisoner when I'm riding his horse, can you? What are you up to? You and me are going to make a deal. I don't deal with killers, Red. Oh, well, this time you will. I don't. Because if you don't, you won't never meet up with that engine alive again. Murder him, Red, and I'll hang you myself. Come to terms and he won't be touched. What terms? Help get my boys out of jail. What's that? You heard me. 
Get Brazos and Snake and the rest of them all that silver ghost calaboose and Tano goes free. But if I don't? I answered that before. What makes you think I can rescue your men? You brought the sheriff to where we was camped, didn't you? I did. Well, after that, I reckon the sheriff is likely to figure you're all right. Long enough for us to get inside his office and get the drop on him, anyhow. And then? We'll take the sheriff's keys, unlock the jail, get the boys, and hightail. Do your share without trying no tricks, and I'll take you to Tonto. And you can both clear out together. How do I know that once your men are free, you wouldn't attempt to drill us both? Shucks, why should I? I just want my men let loose. When that happens, I don't care what becomes you two. Red, can you think of any good reason why I shouldn't shoot you down here and now? <laughs> uh-huh. One prime one. What? You'd never find your part. Come. Huh? What are you going to do? Ride to the sheriff's office. You mean you're going to do like I said? I can't let Tonto die. You won't trick me. I'll make just one promise. Yeah, what? I'll keep my word as long as you keep yours. <laughs> Good enough. Let's go. Follow me. Come on, Silver. Get up, Brunk. Hang on, Silver. Hold Late that evening, the sheriff made sure the Jensen gang was securely locked up for the night. Then he returned to his office. Better down for the night, are they, Sheriff? Yeah, hey, Chief. Get the hollering anyhow. Plenty got it through their heads, they enjoyed the stay, I reckon. Toughest looking bunch I've seen all to once for some spell. You think you'll be all right here alone tonight? Oh, sure. I didn't mean that. Now, don't be afraid to ask for help if you think you need it. I can stay up if I have to, you know. Or Ticks could give you a hand. When they're locked up and there's enough guns here to hold off an army? Hey, what for? Hey, suit yourself. Who do you suppose that is? Don't know. Coming in, though. They're uh, dug gone. Deputy, it's the masked man. Come on in. I will. Who's with you? I. What the? Don't slap by the you. Hey, this... Sorry, Sheriff. This is a jailbreak. You siding with them skunks and we trusted you. I have no choice. Well, I'll be switched. Masked man, you are. Get over, to... Deputy, before I let daylight through you. you. Go on, keep ahead of me. Open that door. You didn't hold that gun again, my back. I'll be the judge of that. Get your keys ready. You've got them there. Open up them doors. Fillers, it's red. With a gun on the deputy. Quiet down, you idiots. You want to rouse the town? There's the first door. Open that. You'll pay for this. Hey, masked man. What's holding you? Coming. Keep moving, deputy. You ain't done yet. Open them all. While Red and the masked man held their guns on him, the deputy released the outlaws one after another. Suddenly, just when the last of Red's band had been freed, the front door banged. And a moment later... Hey, what's that? The sheriff escaped. You're right for help. We've got to get out. He'll wake up the whole town. You let him go, masked man. You was watching him. This is your fault. Wait, not the door. No use being sorry now. Grab a horse. Into the saddle. We've been seen. Hurry. The scout's gone. The sheriff took scout. Then take the sheriff's horse, but be quick about it. Right. <laughs> Fellas, let's go. Get Come on. Get him now. Come on. 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 Bent low over their saddles and paced for the masked man on silver, the outlaws swept out of town, leaving their pursuit behind. Once safely away, Red Jensen took the lead. He signaled for his men to slow down and rode steadily toward the wild and broken country to the south. At night hid their trail and they rode in silence until finally, several hours later, a large hill loomed before them. At its base, a dark shadow marked the entrance to a cave. See that cave ahead there, mister? I do. Well, that's where we stop. That's where Tano is, inside there. <laughs> you think you could have found it without me to show you? I can't say. Well, you wouldn't have. All right, fellas, this is it. Right up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. We camp here, Red? Sure. Don't unsaddle yet, though. What Just wait a second. 
mister. I suppose you're waiting for me to go in there, untie Tato, and let you two gents ride off, huh? That was our agreement. <laughs> you figured I'd be fool enough to hold to it? No, Red. As a matter of fact, I didn't. I reckon you did all right, or you wouldn't have gone through with your part of the bargain. <laughs> well, mister, what would happen if I did let you go? Tonto and I would keep on your trail until you were jailed again. <laughs> ah, take it easy, fellas. I was just asking. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Well, I guess you see now why you've got to be finished off. Both Tonto and me? Uh-huh. You're both poisoned. And you think you can finish us? Think so. <laughs> and we're a dozen of your one and your partner out of the fight? Grab him, boys. Take that mask off. Stand back. Get him. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I thought those guns keep the horse still a taking. I got a hold of one arm. Grab the other. Hey, you you drop gun. Get away from that mask, man. You coyotes. We'll shoot you where you stand. Missing engine. And the sheriff. Tonto, who let Tonto loose? How'd the sheriff get here? I come here on scout. And it was me let the engine out of them ropes. Boy, you understand. If you'd kept your word to me, I'd have kept mine to you. You could have had another chance at freedom. You, you tricked me again. Right. But, but how? How'd you do it? I don't savvy. I don't see You can how. thank your clever leader, who in this case wasn't as clever as he thought himself. You can't say I made any mistake. But you did. Huh? You met me on Scout to prove to me that Tonto was your prisoner. Yeah, but I never... I forgot that at the first opportunity, Scout would return to his master. When you went back to the sales, Red, and the masked man stayed back in the office for a couple of seconds, he told me what to do. I told him to make a break for it. Get on Scout and let Scout choose the trail. And that horse brought me right here. Uh, uh, uh. Him heap good horse. <laughs> now back in the saddle, every one of you. <laughs> you broke jail. And you'd have saved yourselves trouble if you'd have stayed there. Now get going. Keep ahead of us. On your way. Get up there. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Silver, away. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.